Hey guys, here today I'm going to be showing you guys how to partition or pretty much cut a external hard drive into the pieces that you need. So let's say you want it to go 50-50 or 60-40. In my case here, I want to go, um, I have a 1.5 Seagate Backup Plus drive here. It's a 1.5 terabyte, so I want 500 gigabytes for Time Machine, and then I want one terabyte just for like what I've got here on my desktop I just took it out so I wouldn't lose my files in the partition if you guys also wanted to go ahead and do that what you would want to do is just go into your Seagate hard drive and then just <clears throat> go ahead and take all this out the reason why I didn't delete it from here is because in the partition it's gonna go ahead and delete it for me so just didn't want to waste that extra effort if you guys wanted to do that you can go ahead and you can do whatever you want. I mean, that's just what I did. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go into Launchpad and open Disk Utility. Already Disk Utility is going to open up here. So you just select the hard drive here that you want. You go to Partition. And if you're running a different OS, it should be pretty much the same. Depending on how many partitions you want, I only want two. You see how that just cuts into two right there. You could do more than two. You could do, let's see, I'll show you here. You can do maybe three, four, whatever. But in my case, I just need two. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with two. I'm going to label it what I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it time machine okay and this is crucial too if you do want to use time machine you're gonna need Mac OS extended journal but MDOS fat works for both Mac and Windows so I'm gonna put this here I want it at 500 gigabytes alrighty and then in untitled 2 see it's Going ahead and gone to one terabyte. I'm gonna keep that at MDOS2 fat and I'm just gonna name this um, um let's see one one point oh or I'll just call it one T B. Okay, sweet. So I'm gonna go to apply and go ahead and go to partition. And this is just telling me here that, oh, hey, you're going to, like, delete all this stuff. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that because I've got what I need on my on my desktop. So here, it's just going to go ahead and do this. Just waiting here. See, now I have immediately on my desktop two images opened up. I've got the time machine here and the one terabyte. And I didn't I didn't plug in two hard drives. It's just the same hard drive. Since I partitioned it, it's gone into two different things. So anyways, guys, that's how you do that. And if you wanted to go ahead and start up Time Machine here, I'll, I might as well just show you how to do that too. This is a short video. Okay, so what you want to go ahead and do is go into Launchpad again. Search up Time Machine. Alrighty. Whew. Alrighty, so I've never actually done this. I'm going to set up Time Machine. Let's see what's going to go on here. I'm going to go ahead and select disk. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and go with um, Time Machine, the one I went with. Let's see what this says. Do you want to replace replace I'm gonna go ahead and replace the reason why I did this is because I tried it with just the one and it did need Mac OS extended journal and I needed that MDOS fat so I could use this on Windows too if I ever needed to so here we go it's going to go ahead and back up I'm gonna go into options here and let's see I'm gonna go bah, 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 bah. oh man no 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 yeah, yeah, what I went ahead and did there was, if you want to exclude stuff, because I don't want them to save this 
in there because that's going to be over this is over 100 gigs for me so I went ahead and went through the plus here I'm going to go to desktop and I'm pretty much going to go ahead and exclude everything here on my desktop so let me just put my phone down here for a second just going ahead and clicking everything here that way this will exclude and it'll be a lot faster as you guys can see there it went down quite significantly see this is my full backup when you first use time machine for the first backup it's going to go ahead and save your whole what do you call it your whole um, what you've got on your hard drive so if let's say you had 300 gigs it's gonna save those 300 gigs but that's not gonna be the case for every for every um, forgot the word for every backup okay there just had a little brain fart there so that's why I went ahead and went with the 500 gigs because I've only got 136 here so the recommended amount is four to five times as much as your hard drive has so we're just gonna go ahead and wait for this backup to go ahead and complete alrighty guys I'm here I'm here the very next day I'm sorry I couldn't do it but it really wouldn't matter anyway. So I'm here. Uh, my time machine worked. As you can see here. Since this thing right here. This little clock is going. So I know it's working. There's one little thing that I messed up on here. If you wanted to put movies like videos. That's what I had. I had. As you can see here. Movies. I have a lot of <coughs> personal videos. Like stuff like that and then like YouTube videos so I know I told you guys to partition it to MDOS fat but you're gonna have to go into disk utility here and I don't know I don't know this is what I ended up just doing so on that one partition my one TB partition I restored it or no 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 I erased it and then I formatted it to Mac OS extended journal so pretty much what that's going to do is I can only use it on this computer. So if you're already using Time Machine, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be moving this external hard drive around much. So I just went ahead and went in. Alright guys, so just real quick here. I mean, I'm kind of running out on ideas of what to do. I've got, I think, like 12 subscribers right now. I'm going to bump that up a lot. I don't know if there's anything special I can do. I can do maybe... My favorite cheap headphones, maybe a review of these guys, or hell, something musical right there, yeah. I play guitar and bass, I've got drumsticks, I can play a little bit of ukulele, harmonica, to see, to see, drop a comment down below, hit enter, and then let's see. I'm here to review what you guys want, I mean, you can drop a comment, see if I've got it. And then we'll move from there. All right. Thanks, guys.